United States, the Trident Roman 2D5 ballistic missile. The exterior of the Trident Roman 2D5 is a long, slender, cylindrical body made of advanced composite materials and high-strength alloys. Its surface is smooth, with special thermal coatings and heat-resistant tiles near the nose and re-entry vehicle to survive atmospheric re-entry stress. It integrates fiducial markings and small thrusters or attitude control missiles. The missile is launched from submarine vertical launch tubes SLBMS and thus has tail fins or control surfaces stowed until exit. Overall length is about 13, 4 meters and diameter about 2, 1 meters. Inside, the missile is a marvel of engineering. The first and second stages house solid fuel rocket motors, each with segmented propellant grains for controlled burn. Between stages are interstage coupling and electronic interface modules. Embedded in the body you'll find guidance electronics, inertial measurement units MUs, star trackers, redundant navigation systems, and communication modules for mid-course updates. There is a re-entry vehicle section containing the multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs with warheads, heat shield, separation mechanisms, and terminal guidance systems. Also internal sensors monitor temperature, pressure, acceleration, and structural integrity to guard against malfunction. The interior must withstand extreme acceleration and vibration forces, thermal stress, and maintain precise alignment of the guidance hardware. Performance Wise the Trident Roman 2D5 is designed for long-range high-speed ballistic flight. It can reach ranges of over 7, 0, 0, 0 km depending on payload delivering multiple nuclear warheads with high accuracy with circular error probable in the low hundreds of meters or better. Its speed reaches hypersonic velocities during descent. The missile's propulsion is optimized for efficient burn and controlled stage separation. Mid, course trajectory adjustments and maneuvering re-entry vehicles help evade defense systems. Safety features are critical. The missile includes multiple fail, safe arming locks, environmental sensors to prevent premature ignition, redundant systems to prevent single point failures, and destruction slash cancel self, destruct mechanisms if it goes off route. Warhead arming is only allowed after strict sequences and codes. Also, the missile is maintained in secure conditions inside submarine silos until launch, reducing risk of accidental activation. Unique selling points, it is sea-based, making it hard to detect or preemptively strike. The MIRV capability allows multiple warheads